Hey y'all, it's Shantae, Shantae Marie to you. And without further ado, we are back with another V-I-D-E-O. we're gonna do a story time and I'm gonna tell y'all about how my mom died and how I get my scar so we're gonna hop right into the video so the year was 2005 my mom passed away due to a car accident that we had one car accident we rolled down a hill and it was on August the 3rd. And that's the day my mom and my little cousin, Larissa, rest in peace, mom and Reese, lost their life. Maybe I should put on a better shirt to show y'all. Yeah, I'm putting on a better shirt. All right, y'all, so I changed my shirt so y'all can see my arm, my arm better. Don't mind my room, I'm redecorating, so. Yeah, so remember this like it was literally yesterday. So it was me, my mom, Larissa, and my auntie. So I don't know what we was going. I think we was going to get my little, my little cousin. But when we got there, it's like it was kind of raining that day. So you know how the road is still wet. I don't know. God just knew it was her time because ain't no way we we should have had an accident right there and as bad as it was. The accident was in a curve. Like, you literally going around a curve. This is a road, by the way. Like, this is a curve. This is where the accident happened. Like, right here. I'm standing right in front of it. So, all of this used to be woods. Like, they just not cleared this. So, all this used to be woods. And all car came from that way and slid and, and laying it down there. We had, to, we had to walk up this hill. Hey there. Wait, I'm recording for my video. <laughs> yeah, this is my cousin. <laughs> so the car started sliding. All I remember was the car slid like in the pot of water, but the road was dry. But it had the little pot of water in it. So the car slid. And the car did. So the car flipping and flipping. I'm going in and out of consciousness. And my arm fly out the window like this. Like literally. I remember. Like it like. And I remember it hitting some. And, I, and it knocked it back. So. I lose consciousness. I wake up. The car is upside down. Later on, I found out that the car was on top of my mom, like smushed, like, like from here to here, like it was smushing her, like it was on top of her. And I was inside the car. My auntie got out. I don't know how she got out, but she got the car. Later on, I found out that Big Red, that's my little cousin name, Big Red. Later, I found out that she is down the hill, like. She got thrown from the car. So, okay. I'm calling names trying to get out the car. I'm like, what happened? Mama, where you at? Nikki, Risa, where you at? So, I hear this. So, I hear Tay, Tay. And I'm like, I'm over here. I'm over here. So, I climb out the window of the car because the car swooped over. So, I'm climbing out the window. And I hear my auntie. So my auntie, get me out of the car and we walk up the hill. So mind you, like, the road is this hand. The car flipped down like this. We in the woods, like, this right here was a wooded area, basically. So we was in the woods, like we didn't throw trees down and all with this car accident. So we climb up the hill to go to the road. And my mom's best friend house is right here. See? Climb from this hill, from from down there, up here. If I'm confusing, bear with me, cause I'm not a storyteller. <laughs> Next thing I know, I feel something dripping from my arm, and I 
and I'm like, what is this? My arm bleeds. So my mom's best friend gets towels and wrap my arm up. So I'm guessing my we all live in this area. My grandma and them coming up the road. And I'm up there on the step looking at my arm like, like I can see my my bones. Like I really can see my bones. So, I remember sitting on these steps. I remember sitting on this step, my arm wrapped up in the towel, gushing blood. So, mind you, I don't know what red, I don't know what my mama at. All I know is, all I see is me and my auntie. But when I get in the ambulance and I look to my side, I see my little cousin right there. And she ain't breathing, she ain't moving. And I'm like, God, she's a baby. Like, she didn't have nobody. She have her whole life to live. And at that time, me being a kid, I'm like, well, we're in the ambulance. Everything gonna be okay. So, she's gonna be fine. But she wasn't. Um, stable clinic. It was just right in because we're in the ambulance and my condition is critical. It ripped my clothes off, cutting it up. Bro, I'm gonna heal this way. I'm looking at my arm like they gon' I don't know what's going on with that. I just see blood, grass, glass, sticks, trees, everything up in there. So next thing I know they're trying to fix my arm. I guess it was too much for them to handle because they had to they had I don't know if they airlifted me or did I ride in the ambulance because by that time I don't know how I got there. But I was at Baptist when I woke up. But before then, I remember my dad busting through the doors, like the double doors to the back entrance. Baby, he was like, what the heck? What the heck? I'm like, I'm right here. Calm down. Me being a kid, you don't know the severity of the accident. Like, I didn't know that people died. My mom had died. My little cousin died. My arm is on the verge of being cut off, amputated. Like... I didn't know. My auntie only had like scratches. I think she had like a mild concussion. I'm not sure. But I know she had like scratches and scrapes and that was it. It won her time. On the other hand, I almost got my arm amputated. Thank God for the surgery that I had because I would have been lefty. I would have been a lefty. And I don't know how I was going to live life like that, but I was going to live it one hand or not baby it was gonna be on like popcorn period let me tell y'all this before the surgery before the surgery they transferred me to the hospital they put me in the gown they was telling me i was gonna have surgery on my arm i ain't know what that mean i was like baby i don't care go all right so y'all the surgeon gave me a teddy bear and he was like don't worry you're not gonna feel nothing you're gonna go to sleep guess what i told this man I remember this like it was yesterday. Like, I remember this part. Like I remember bits and pieces of it. This man, I mean, he was like, "You gonna go to sleep? You ain't gonna feel nothing." I told the man, I said, "I'm a thug. You can't put me to sleep. Ain't no anesthesia gonna put me to sleep." Bro, when he counted, <laughs> he didn't even count to five. I was gone. I was out of here like a light. <laughs> so when I woke up, I asked. I was like, "Where's my mom?" The whole room got quiet. They, they ain't nobody seen me. I don't know who told me that she was gone, but I told them they were lying. I said, baby, no, she ain't. No, she ain't. You ain't gonna tell me that. You ain't gonna tell me that. I was in denial. Even after I got out the hospital, like, it's like the day I got the hospital is the, I think the day they had her funeral. I had a cast on my arm, baby. It's, I don't even know if I went home. All I remember is putting on a white dress, going to the church. Church was packed, baby. You cannot tell me my mom was in love. And you know one thing that I hate? They should have had her funeral and Red funeral together. That pissed me off. Because how could you separate their funerals and then on the same day, at the same time? Like, why? I couldn't even see little baby. I couldn't even see him. 
I couldn't even go to her grave that day or nothing. And I'm like, that was like a sister to me because my mama had her a lot. Like, a lot. I saw my mom in the, in the, whew, in the casket. Boy, boy, boy. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. At the time, I was, I didn't think it was real. I was in denial. It all happened like that. And I'm like, she's gone. Y'all telling me she gone, but she really ain't gone. I just didn't feel like it was real. And then after the funeral, a couple of weeks went by. Y'all, I went crazy. I had got mad. I ran home. Y'all, when I tell you, I told the house. I was throwing stuff left and right. I was like, my mama can't be gone. Y'all be lying to me. Where my mama at? But I had a complete meltdown. It took a lot for it to sink in. Like, I thought if I would scream louder, that she would come back. If I cry harder, God will send her back. I don't know. I don't know. I thought anything would work at that point. I was desperate. <laughs> but y'all don't. It is hard not to cry right now. Everything happened for a reason. I'm still trying to figure that reason out. But it is what it is. like comment share subscribe leave me some comments let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and i promise you i will do them i'm trying to put our videos back to back i'm trying to have collab so if you want to collab and you're in the Montgomery area just hit me up i post my social li social links my social media links <laughs> down below in the description box so don't forget to check that out and i'll see y'all on the next video Yo! I love you, mama. Father God, I come to you as humble as I know how. Please guide me in the right direction of this journey that I'm about to endure. I don't know all the correct answers. I don't know the correct path. But with your help and guidance, I know everything will be okay. Lord, please, but... Just give the spirit of my mother.